Now here's a question, Harley, can you please shed some light on this? Ever since being a kid, I've always believed that you get fat from carbs due because if you don't use them up, they turn into fat. Is this a ridiculous myth? Cheers. Yes, it is a ridiculous myth. If carbs made you fat, how come I'm not fat? How come I'm, I'll never, ever be fat? Ever. 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 You can, I could break both my legs today and not train for the next eight months and still be lean as fuck all the time. Why? Because I eat low sodium, low fat all the time. I eat unlimited carbohydrates. I go to bed early. So my cortisol levels are really low. I get a lot of fun. I don't do as much training as I probably should. I mean, I spend a lot of time on the computer. Look at my posture. This is, this is me. And this is what I'm running like when I go running. And I'm getting all chest... Uh, I'm getting stomach muscle injuries from my poor posture. And I did some x-rays the other week. And the, my Cairo friend, Jens, is saying, well, you know, that's, that's not really good, all this, all this stuff. So, get out of it. This is my YouTube channel, mate. Get out. So, I definitely don't do as much training as I probably should do because, you know, I'm running 17, 19 for 5K, and that's, I should be running a lot faster than that for how easy my lifestyle is. I should be putting in some more training and, and running in the 15s for 5K. And maybe I'll get there. But I'm pretty, I'm, I'm just a lazy person. I'm a lazy fucking person. I hate doing more than I have to do. <laughs> I go for the minimum amount of effort for the maximum results. That's just me. I'm just fucking lazy. So when I heard about high carb, low fat, I'm like, what, it keeps you lean? I, I don't want to ever get fat. I don't want to have a fat gut. I want to be healthy. I want to reduce my chance of heart disease, reduce my chance of cancer and obesity. I don't have to eat animals. Fuck, that's good. I love animals. Animals are my friends, not my food. So... When I learned that high carb, low fat keeps you lean, I'm like, yep, sign me up, sign me up now. And that was like back in 2001. I had some health issues and I was always having to over, I was doing the paleo primal diet and I always have to train, over train so much to burn off all the animal fat I was eating. I was like, I was told, you know, when I was uh, training in my fitness course that carbs are evil, you gotta eat lots of fat, eat lots of protein. So I was eating all that and I was just like having to train like a fucking madman. I was always depressed. I was always bloated. And I was just constantly go, go, go. And I, was, I was hoping to never have a day off exercise because I was worried about getting fat. And that was a reality. And that, my friends still have that reality today. If they don't race their bike all the time and train excessively and run 150 k's a week, they get fat really quickly. I'm talking fat, man. You'll like, see them I'm like, fucking hell, what happened to you? So here's a typical meal for me. 1,500 calorie data aid smoothie. Mm. Oh, that is so sugary, man. It blows your head off. That's just dates and water. Hyper sugar. High glycemic, or actually probably it's moderate glycemic. I don't know. I like high glycemic, though. High glycemic keeps you leaner. High glycemic fruits mm, allow the best recovery. High glycemic just straight into the cells. Oh, that is good, man. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar all the way. So it's pretty straightforward. Excess carbs get burnt off as dietary thermogenesis. Try and find me an overweight person that's been doing a fruit-based vegan lifestyle or even a potato or rice-based vegan lifestyle for long term. Low fat, no oil, no animal products, low sodium. Show me these people. I, I've never met them. You know, there's all this talk about carbs, mercury, fat. Okay, 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 okay. Enough talking. Do some walking. Show me the fat people. I'll give you $10,000. I'll give you 10 grand. I've got the money. No worries. I've got the money, believe you me. Where are the fat people? I can sit on my ass for the next 20, 40 years stuffing my face with as much steamed potatoes or baked potatoes as I want, just stuffing it in until I was vomiting and then, and then eating potato vomit and still just pouring in the fruit and the steamed rice. Wouldn't get fat at all. Wouldn't get fat at all. I'd still be a slim person. If I didn't train my body, I'd be a slim Sloppy person, that's all. If you want to be slim and toned, you've got to move the body. You can't have toed muscles from sitting on the couch. You can have small, like your slim arm, but if you want your arm to be toned, if you want your arm to be toned, see that styrations there? If you want your arm to be toned, you've got to use it. You've got to use it. Now, I don't, I don't even have, own a weight set. <laughs> that's how lazy I am. But I might do a, a push-up here and there, or if there's a, a bench press somewhere, and someone says, oh, how much can you bench press? I'm like, oh, let's do a competition. So I'll, I'll smash out some heavy weights because I'm very strong. Because it's good to do some lifting for bone density. 
So you, you can sit on your ass, eat unlimited carbohydrates. You can eat 20,000 calories a day from carbohydrates. Not that you could do that anyway, but let's say you wanted to, you could. You eat that every single day, you're not going to get fat. And if you don't train, all that's going to happen is you're going to get sloppy and floppy. And we know that activity is healthy for the body. The main reason I do a bit of you know, movement and get out there is it, it is good for health. You know, you've got to pump the blood around. And so I'll go, okay, I'll, you know, go and get out there. I'll ride my bike to the shops. And, you know, and that is fun as well. You get to meet people and reduce your fossil fuels. That's the main reason I ride a bike is to reduce fossil fuels. And bike riding is fun. And it's pretty cool these days. So cars make you fat. Don't know about that. Bottom line, eat as much carbohydrates as you want. Stuff your face with as much steamed rice, steamed potatoes, sweet potatoes, fruit. Fruit's always going to be the best. I mean, fruit's just the best food for humans. It's the most perfect food. Fruit has the most nutrients per calorie of any other food for humans. The problem is we don't live in a fruity world as much as it could be. So getting enough fruit can be fucking hard. It can be a challenge. So I've got to give people the backup plan, but nobody got fat on steamed rice or baked potatoes. They get fat on fried rice because they add the oil and fat and chicken and grease and dead eggs and shit on there. And that, the fat you eat, the fat you wear. So you, you go to a restaurant, people go, oh, I don't eat rice. And they eat you know, steak and deep fried chips and go, well, how come you're still fat then if you don't eat steamed rice and steamed potatoes and bananas? Like, oh, it's, oh. <laughs> exactly. Show me where the fatties are, $10,000, done. Cars make you lean. Or unlimited carbohydrate diet, under 10% of carbon calories from fat, vegan, fruit focused, loving it, done, easy, see you later. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Share this video on your Facebook page and tell people unlimited carbohydrates, get some discussions going on your Facebook page. Educate people on the importance of high carb, low fat for weight loss. Weight loss is all about the high carb, low fat. The best weight loss transformations, high carb, low fat, low sodium, vegan, fruit focused, love it. See you soon.